50 for sex. Uh, Hugh Grant's mm. 25. Uh, 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 Hugh, then. You'd better get in. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm often passing through John O'Groat. All right, Aberdeen. Look, Laura, let me just have her for half to... Great. Not only does my ex-wife marry a dentist, she marries a dentist who can't find any bad teeth south of the Arctic Circle. So, is Judith coming to stay? Doesn't look like it. Mm. Tea? Mm. Sell by date, July 95. Or coffee, recently bought, but with dead wasp in jar. Coffee. Mm -hmm. No! Electric fire's plugged in. Oh, yeah. Are you sure you want to give it up, Nick? Yep. I mean, you know, even though we've moved, this, this place is like a magnet for all the insane psychos for miles around. I'm tired of trouble, Aggie. Called coitus interruptus. Yeah. Glad to see what he puts on his insurance form. <laughs> so, anybody know who Eddie the Eagle here is? Oh dear God. So, where do you want me to drop you off? Chew. I'm doing a little shopping up west. It's late night opening. Look, I've told you. If you get nicked, I'm not going to bail you out again. Okie dokie. I'm a 42 chest, by the way. Oh no. Charming investigations. I'll tell him. Draw a mate, Inspector Robber. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, what is it? John Reed's dead. Oh, Charmin. That's how I thought you'd end up. There's still time. I'd never have had him down to top himself. He didn't. What do you mean, he didn't? I just know he didn't. He didn't leave a note. It's not compulsory. Take a look in there. Would you? Who the bloody hell are you? Nick Sharman. Prove it. Who the bloody hell are you? The CS Gas Fairy. Yeah, it sounds like the Nick Sharman I've heard about. I thought you were supposed to be a real looker. Hi. Hi. This is Jane, my goddaughter. I see you brought her up as a nice, clean living girl. They killed him, Nick. Anne was worried they might come back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are we talking about here? Manny Dukakis. John had always wanted to put that bastard away. There's a lot of history there. Anyway, John started his own investigations. I heard he was only investigating the bottom of Smirnoff bowls. He was a tiny bit upset about being kicked off the force. Don't know if you noticed. Anyway... He got something big on Manny. And he didn't try and put him away. He tried to blackmail him instead. He told you? I know. I overheard his phone calls. And I know that's why he was killed. Well, you saw the state of the place. They were looking for something. Did they find her? How the hell do I know? So what does the police reckon? The police are useless tossers. You should know that. So they think it's just plain suicide? And I want you to prove it wasn't. I've got his diary. There's some notes in there. Why me? 
You owe him that at least. No, wait a minute. He's refused to speak to me since... Did you expect, Sharman? You knew the confiscated coke was his responsibility. You took him down with you and you nicked it. The job was everything to him, Sharman. You destroyed him. You forgot I started the war in Yugoslavia. <sighs> you can't avoid this. It's unfinished business. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's finished for me. I've retired. Since when? Since... This afternoon. Uh, how convenient. Is Anne going to be all right on her own? She might as well have been on her own for years if John lost the police. I don't believe this. Someone's nicked my car. I parked it there. So, are you going to prove Manny Dukakis killed him? Yeah, look, I'm sorry, I can't get into this in a minute, all right? Yeah, well, you're going to have a long walk home then, aren't you? <sighs> I'm going to have to do this eventually, aren't I? I better go back for that diary. By any chance? No, nope, you're busted. Great, that's what I hoped. I love this fresh winter air. What happens if it starts raining? Well, if I keep it above 40, the rain just shoots over the top. And heaven forbid you drive less than 40. Just two would be great, thanks. So, why'd you nick the coke? Mostly to put on my nose. Like quite a few people in the drug squad back in those days, I was taking my work home with me. My marriage was falling apart. I was pissed off with the police. I wanted them to kick me out. Wouldn't it have just been easier to resign? Yeah, but that wouldn't have screwed up my life, would it? Yeah. And John's. Fancy a drink? I find that I need one when old mates die in suspicious circumstances. I can't make any sense of this at all. Did he have some sort of private shorthand? Just lots of vodka. You see a lot of him? A bit. I kept Anne company. She was lonely. It's weird, you know. Being that close to somebody, then nothing. It's almost like he died four years ago. You haven't played your messages? From your girlfriend, is it? There's a name keeps cropping up here, Cedric Walsh. Ever heard of him? No. Must be an old snail or something. Listen, do you want to give me a hand with this? What are you doing tomorrow? Going to the dentist. Don't go and marry him, will you? <laughs> what? Nothing. Actually, I'm not going to the dentist at all. I'm doing a job. My job. Modeling, page three. Do you think that's cheap? No. Good. Not bad. Bit of flab. But not bad. What's this? My telephone number. Bye. Hey. 
Yeah, this is Laura calling at um, 7.18 on Friday the 20th. I've decided you can have Judith for this weekend like you wanted. Ring me. Charlie, Hello. how are you doing? This right. is uh, my daughter, Judith. She's staying with me for the weekend. Well, pleased to meet you, Judith. I've heard a lot about you. Hi. So, Charmin, what sort of a motor do you want to borrow? This is a nice, uh, solid little madam. Won't stand out too much. But if you're looking for a mistress rather than a wife... We'll have the wife. The wife, yeah. The wife. <laughs> you don't want me with you, do you? No, of course I do. Then why do you keep ringing Aggie to see if she look after me? Darling, it's difficult when I'm on a job, you know. We're on a job? from there. Wouldn't that camera video it? You're brilliant. Come on. We'll just go and see this man, then we'll grab something to eat. Was he murdered or did he fall? That's what we're about to find out. You, um, keep the videos? For a week. It's the rules. So you still got the video of the fall last night? I don't know whether you caught that raised intonation at the end of the sentence there. That makes it a question. It means you follow it with an answer. Yeah? No. That's another question. And what happens if I don't like answering questions? You shouldn't even be in here. Don't be stupid. You think you're up to it? You couldn't lend me some money, could you? I spent all mine on petrol. Yeah, I've got some. I'll give you all back, I promise. The video. The copper took it. At least he said it was a copper. Uniform. Show you his warrant card. What did he look like? How tall was he? Medium. Build? Medium. Age? Medium. How much to give you? Obviously more than me. All right. Uh, bloke who jumped, friend of yours, was he? You could say that. He was still alive when I found him. Still talking. What did he say? I forgot. Sweetheart, you couldn't wait outside a second, could you? What did he say? He just kept repeating, that bastard, that bastard. Cheers, mate. Thank you. 
Oh, did you quit being a private eye? Yep. Did you hold a celebration? No. We did. That's what I miss about the police force, their internationally renowned sense of humour. You picked up John Snouts, didn't you? Cedric Walsh mean anything to you? Nope. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Anne told me John was sniffing around Manny Dukakis. Not a good idea, I would have thought. Manny's come up in the world. Warehouses, trucks. They call him the king of South London fruit and veg. Not on the payroll there, are you? Me? I spoke to Anne Reed this morning. She said you dropped by. I thought it was the right thing to do. She said you had to poke around the stuff in the back room. Worried you might have had something about you and him back in the old days. Thought he might have left a note. What, hidden under the carpet? Come on, that place had been turned over. It was like that when I got there. The state he was in, he probably did it himself. Here you go, love. Thanks very much. Nice manners. Yeah, I don't see her often enough to wreck them. So come on, what's your take on it all? Well, we reckon really he was going bungee jumping without a rope. Listen, he topped himself, all right? He had enough pills and booze inside him to hold a drunk squad's party. So you think the verdict will be suicide? <sighs> Accident, maybe. Ex-job, you know the score. What about the video that showed him going over the edge? Video? A plainclothes copper took it away from the guard. Well, he said he was a copper anyway. Did he? What do you look like? Medium height, medium age, medium build. Dad, do you know two men have been watching you talking? Where? Over there. They've gone now. Do me a favour, sweetheart. Go over there and keep an eye and give me a shout if you see him again, yeah? OK. Bit of an amateur detective, like her old man, is she? Listen, uh, I wouldn't go raking up the past too much if I were you. You might remember what you were like. How are you getting on with Ralph these days? Has he still got that big silly moustache? Mm, yeah. Get rid of it. You told him to get rid of it? Yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't smoke. I'm cutting down, I promise. My teeth aren't bad. every time. What's this? What's going on? Cool down, fire. Chill out, no one gets out. Don't tell me I cool down. You've got an appointment. Sorry, can't make it. I'm washing my hair. Do it, Sharman. Save yourself and the kids some grief. Don't you dare threaten her. No one's threatening anyone. It's business. Oi! Not your dog. How about you telling me what the hell's going on? Hey, boy. How about you doing what I said? Nick, my old friend. Emerald, what the hell's going on? I wanted to see you, Nick. Yeah? Had the phone call off. You don't have to drag Judith into some car. Hello, sugar. You remember me, then? Yeah, of course. You let me wear your ring. And I taught you how to play pool. Remember standing on that box to hit the ball? Yeah. <laughs> drag. Drag. You wanted a me, I got a me. I think my nephew owes you an apology. Nephew? Once upon a time, you wouldn't have let something like that into your family. Teddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm real apologetic. Now, can we tell them why they're here? Teddy! You watch your ass. You've been smoking in bed again, Em. Now, let me guess, you want me to do something for this, right? I want you to take a little look at Manny Dukakis. Yeah, well, I'm working on another job right now. It might be a bit difficult fitting it in, but seeing as it's you, Em. He did this. Manny Musaka. How do you know? A brush of sprout. Ugh. They're not my favourites either. 
This is historical. Brussels sprouts started them. God knows the third war between us. Back in the old days when I was running a couple of clubs and Manny was wholesaling fruit and veg. Not big time like now. Yeah, I remember, so. We had a falling out over a shipment of Brussels. Sacks of the damn things. Manny said I'd ordered them. I hadn't. So they went to and fro and fro and to across South London for weeks until they were almost liquid. A few legs were broken over those sprouts, believe me. Yeah, I remember that as well, but why are you hiring me? It's a matter of pigmentation. No black man's going to get within a mile of Manny. Not now. If you want to catch a chicken, you don't send a fox into the chicken coop. You send another chicken. Thanks, Em. Find out what the hell's going on, eh, Nick? So you're not going to go and get a little retaliation, then? See? You have to do it. Shoot it out of them. Not yet. I'm respectable these days. Do you know I bought an Undertaker's? Established 1845. They buried one of Queen Victoria's second cousins. You can't get more respectable than that. <laughs> I can't go around South London waving guns at people anymore. So there's been no trouble at all? There was Cedric. Cedric? Cedric Walsh, another nephew. He had a thing for Manny's daughter, a big thing. And? He got over the taste for white meat, chipped back to Jamaica. Not before time. But that isn't what it's all about. Manny was pissed off, but so was I. That's funny, huh? I'd have thought you'd have smiled on this breakthrough in multiracial personal affiliation. It's not a question of colour, Nick. It's, it's good judgement. Hey, he could have screwed the entire Ku Klux Klan for all I care. Anyone. As long as it's not a Dukakis. Good man, enough talking to talk. What are you going to do? Teddy, you'd need to run them back. Bring the car around the front. Teddy, you do what I say. My sister's boy, he's a bright kid. <laughs> Just acts like an ass once a day. <laughs> Reminds me of me when I was his age. Reminds me of you, Nick. <laughs> Anyhow, so what are you going to do? Go and see Manny. Detection emerald is a delicate science. You ask lots of people questions, then see who comes around to beat you up. Listen, man, you keep on dissing me, there's gonna be a serious detonation. Not bad with the street talk, Tommy, but you drop a lot of big words in there. Been to university, have we? I've got a degree in political science. Well, you got Dumbo. CSE and woodwork. Home economics. Now listen, I wouldn't normally make the effort, but I like Em, so I'm prepared to try and like you. I don't like people taking advantage of my uncle. Em can take care of himself. <laughs> He's gonna let Manny walk all over it. No, he won't. Are you sure Cedric's back in Jamaica? I'm sure. My music. Because he said I had to turn up alone. Look, I'm sorry about this, sweetheart. This sort of thing kills me. I mean it. It's never going to be easy. The places I go, the hours I work, when I work. I don't care. I really love being with you, Dad. I really love being with you, sweetheart. It's just difficult sometimes. Would it be easy if I didn't come and visit you? Sweetheart, no, that's the only thing that keeps me going. Don't even think about that. 
just get scared for you. Don't, Dad. I'll be fine. I'll stay in the car and look out for men following us. Yeah, you do that. Don't let anyone in. I'll be one. Mr. Randall. Oi, private party. It's a nice suit, man. Who's your tailor? Liberace. I'm here to see Manny Dukakis. Nick Sharman, I'm expected. Good. Now, a lot of people miss that bit. Yeah. You call him Mr. Dukakis. Mr. Dukakis? Nick Sharman. Manny. Sharman. I thought you were dead. You must be confusing me with John Reed. I told you to come along. I'm with my daughter. She's 11. And you left her in your car. You people are disgusting. George, you bring her in. Anything will happen out there. Where is her mother? We're just going through this phase where she's married somebody else and moved to Scotland. No respect for family. When Georgie marries, he'll stay married. Yeah. Or else Daddy will stop giving him all that money. Shut up. Hey, Georgie, there's no way to address a lady. My daughter, Kiriaki. So who are you? Nick Sharman. Aw, you look sad, Nick Sharman. I'm supposed to be at the hen party. But when Daddy gives a party, you just can't keep me away. They're such temples of good taste. Greek temples. So sophisticated and elegant. You can look those words up later in the dictionary, Georgie. That is if you know what a dictionary is. Hey, what happened to you? I opened the door and she hit me before I had time to explain. I told her not to let anyone in. Are you okay? This is my daughter, Judith, Mr. Manny Dukakis. Hello, precious. Hello. The can is cook lemu, eh? Hey, Georgie, get her a Coke. That's right. Children should be sacred. In the old days, men went off to fight wars, decided things, and came back to their families. Now, everyone's on the front line. Boy! Not yet! There is a child here! Now, why did you demand to talk to me after all this time? John Reed was investigating you. So? So he died. John Reed was a drunken junkie. And that is your fault and his fault, not mine. If ex filth want to jump off tall buildings, that is okay by me. More than okay if he was blackmailing you. You haven't been adding to your video collection recently, have you? I don't know what you are talking about. Everyone knows I'm legit these days. So bombing clubs is legal now? Oh, I see. So M thinks I bombed his club, does he? I'm not a gangster anymore. You can tell, Mr. Sharman. Once, if you had insulted me like this, I would not have let it pass. Ever heard of Cedric Walsh? This interview is at an end. What? Archiste Tora! Well, what about Cedric? You tell me. Sorry about this, sweetheart. I knew I shouldn't have brought you. Is he a real gangster? <sighs> Used to be. Now I'm not so sure. He gave me a coat with a blue umbrella in it. You trying to get yourself killed? No, that's just Tuesdays and Thursdays. Can I have a lift home, please? It's not far. Tell me about you and Cedric. I've had those, you know, tests done. They said that I was a summer person and I've got to wear winter colours to complement my complexion. Of course, it'd help if I wasn't so hideous. Take a left at the corner. No, you're not. I think you're pretty. 
Mm. My mum doesn't let me wear makeup at all. How old are you? Eleven. I used to be eleven once. So tell me about you and Cedric. We were supposed to be getting married. Daddy was furious, so was his uncle, Emerald. They thought we were doing it just to piss them off, but we weren't. I really loved Cedric. At least if that's not love, I can't imagine what is. <gasps> then he walked out on me two weeks before the wedding. I'm sorry. Georgie's got a couple of whores lined up for tonight, don't you? That's nice, isn't it? My family is probably going to give his beloved bride a dose of the clap. Serves her right. I'm never going to get married now. What about you, Judith? Nor me. I've seen what it's like. Hmm. Yeah, well, you're a wise girl. Good night. Night. We'll be old maids together. Are you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> Still want to be a detective, Sherlock? Pete's going to the zoo. No, 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 sweetheart. Not this one. It's way past your bedtime. But Aggie's still out. Yeah, but I think I know someone who won't be. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I gave you my telephone number. Manager Kakos has been in touch. Want to meet later. I can't take Judith with me. I need you to look after her. There's no one else. Well, perhaps you'd like me to take in some aging relatives, too. Give me your mobile number. Not much flab at all. Now, where did you learn a cheap trick like that? Go on, get out of here. I'll see you later. Bye. Gross. Mr. Russo. You shouldn't ask questions about Mr. Dukagis's family, should you? Or his business. That's private, isn't it? Nothing to say? Because you had a lot to say earlier on, didn't you? Well, this is to slow you down a bit. Which knee? You choose. It's the least we can let you do. Bombs. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses.
Is Judith okay? Dead to the world. Great. You're very good at this. <laughs> I used to do it for my dad sometimes. He was always getting into fights. I did him. And my mum did his uniform. Uniform? Army. Paris. Where do you think I got the CS gas from? Safeways. So you still see him? Sometimes. Do you think Judith will still want to see me when she's your age? Yeah, I do. I'll give up on her, eh? I don't know. Sometimes I think she'd be better off with Laura and her husband full time. No. Gonna give me a hand getting these off for what? I might do. Shaman, are you one of those men that thinks that women that sleep with them too quickly are tarts? No, I'm profoundly grateful. <laughs> anyway, you're only the third man I've ever slept with. That's right. I try hard not to look so surprised. It's just not what I want. And doing what I do, I think most men get a little bit frightened. Yeah, but that's probably the CS gas you carry. <laughs> So you're not even a tiny bit jealous of all those men looking at me? No, I can live with it. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. What do you want me to do? Go around and beat up all four million sun readers? <laughs> oh, are you sure you came off best? When do I? Anyway, there's nothing more you can do tonight. Isn't there? Charlie, I've had a long test drive and I've decided against this one, mate. Charmin? I'll put it on your account. I'm gonna need another car. No, oh, there's always mine. No, I'm gonna need another car. Um, the same sort of thing as this, I suppose. Oh, go on, Dad, you might as well take the mistress. And you two might as well stop pretending. It's all right, I don't mind. She's better than most of them. Oh, he's not like that. They leave him. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Manny wants to talk. You must be mad. He'll probably take your leg off with the JCB this time. We're meeting at George's wedding. He's very big on respectability. He won't touch me there. He'll be OK. That means I can come. No, not that OK. Jane will look after you. No, she won't. She's got a job this afternoon. Right, um... I better try Aggie again, then. Why didn't you call me? Well, you said you wouldn't, you know, anymore. Yeah, but I always say that. I just thought with John Reed, you had other things on your mind. I have, so what? I'll see you soon, love. Bye. You 
want you to see me. Oh, I don't know what the bloody hell you are playing at, but let's just say my family's Bupa premiers are going up. They came after me. Listen, Sharon. Do you know what it costs nowadays to have someone killed? Ah, yes, it can. Peanuts. But I don't do this anymore. I'm legit. I don't need to kill policemen. I don't need turf wars with black gangsters. So now I'm going to tell you everything I know, so I never have to see you ever again. First, whatever he thinks, I didn't bomb that fat nigger's club. How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't. I can't prove a thing, but it's the truth. And I didn't kill your ex copa friend either, even though he was trying to put the black on me. With what? Nothing illegal. He found out about Cedric Walsh. What about Cedric Walsh? Well, that slimy spade was only after Kiki for my money. I had to protect her. I sent George around, offered him 50 grand cash if he'd leave her alone. It was a test, in a way. <laughs> he almost beat George's hand off to get the cash. No one seen him since? Not exactly Claire Rayner, are you? But I was right. And now, Mr. Sharman, you know everything. So uh, piss off out of my life, or I shall forget that I'm now a pillar of the community and personally kick your internal organs to pulp. Now, this too I cannot prove, but believe me. Oh, I do. Uh, buy your daughter a nice dress. Hello. So my family isn't good enough for money to carcass. How dare he? I thought you wanted the affair broken up. Not by him. First he pays off my family, then tortures my club. I'm not sure he did. So who did? Guy Fawkes? I don't know. So my money is no good. Does my friendship not count for something? Yeah, of course it does, Em, but I'm not your man. Go and find some young, hungry kid who wants to make a name for himself. There's plenty of them. That's probably why we're in this shit. There's no real hard men anymore, just a bunch of psychos with guns. The things used to be so different, or am I just getting old? Ah, you've still got class, Em. You only bottle people with magnums of money. Have you? No point. You only flog heroin these days, don't you? How did you get in here? You're not supposed to be able to just walk in. Carry coffee, get past anyone. Oh, security's terrible. Someone mugged the WPC in here last week. Frothy stuff. Try it. It's new. Arrived here about 1950. You left a message. It's a call not to barge in uninvited, you prat. But as soon as you're here. A bit of a commotion the other night over at Manny Do Carcass's house. Nothing to do with you, of course. I was with my daughter all evening, I swear. This is what you wanted to see. Bloody hell. Can't even get any privacy when you top yourself these days. Suicide, Sean. That proves it. So it was you that got the tape? Cost me 50 from that creepy guy. Why didn't you get it the usual way? Didn't have to be used as evidence. Yeah, because you thought he might have been killed as well, didn't you? Worried what an investigation might have thrown up about you. Maybe. But, uh, he topped himself. So everything's all right, isn't it? Yeah. You try telling Anne Reed that. <laughs> 
See? Harrods. These are the sort of people who come to the wedding. Respectable people. And what does that bastard do? He makes me look like a gangster. I'll rip his lungs out. Now you're talking. So you're looking forward to your wedding night then, are you, George? Hey, she's under sedation. Oh, isn't that the way he likes them? Unconscious? No! I'm gonna let her get away with everything. <sighs> oh, sweetheart. I know today's been hard. You can get married any time you want. You don't need to wait for love. Love is overrated. It runs out. So just find someone and tell me. I'll make sure they'll marry you. It's too late. I saw him coming and managed to roll out. Is your life always like this? Yeah. Copper would be a better liar than that. OK, look, four years ago you screwed up, and you screwed up John's career. But you didn't force him to piss his life away and top himself. That's down to him. I know, it's just the past. You try and drop it, but some mistake, some feud, some debt, it always sucks you back. But you know John wasn't murdered. I mean, now we can just sit it out, can't we? Nick? Maybe. For God's sake, leave it. I mean, I like it how you are. With a full complement of limbs, not full of bullets, not on fire. Alive. I like you a lot. I'll just sort this one out and then it'll be okay. No, it won't. It's like Anne said, it's unfinished business. Yeah. Have you spoken to her yet? No. She never answers the bloody phone. I've got to speak to her before the funeral. Yeah, well, I've got a photo shoot first thing. I need my sleep. I want to go to bed. Are you coming? I'll just finish this. I won't be long. in the shower. Cedric. Sure. No, I'll tell him. Who was that? Wrong number. Good. What's wrong? Well, I suppose I'm going to have to tell you the truth sooner or later. Cedric's got in touch with Kiki and she wants you to go along to their meet. Come on, I'll give you a lift. You should have known. There's no point in trying to play it straight. Not with scum like money around. So what are you going to do? Bury him. So 
what's the story? He called me. He said he wants me back. Cedric, who's in Jamaica? I didn't know what to do. You know, I didn't know whether I could trust him or not, so... Well, I called you. Cheers. You want a coffee? Two coffees, please. So where is the wild colonial boy? There. You do that to me after everything we've been through. You're a bastard! I couldn't do anything else, I swear. You know, Georgie came round with the money, half from your dad, half from him. Suck a pistol in my... Right inside. Gave me a choice. 50k and end up in Jamaica or nothing and end up at the bottom of the Thames. Oh. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, Cedric! So why are you back now? Who's that? He's a friend. A friend? He's a friend who's going to help us. Go and tell him why you're here. I'm here to pay back the cash. See? He's honest. He's not like the rest of them. I haven't been paying back any oh, other debts, have you? What's that supposed to mean? A little revenge on Manny and Uncle M. Not now. Not now. It's all sorted. Sorted? I'm going to meet Georgie and I'm going to pay back the monies. Then Kiki and me... are free to leave together. You can't trust them. Tell him. No, 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 I'll be fine, fine, man. Teddy says it's cool. Teddy? Teddy knows you're not in Jamaica. Look, he helped arrange it. You mustn't go. Listen, I'm not running away again. You're both going to get yourselves killed. Excuse me, both? Well, you are going to go with him, aren't you, Nick? We've got a chance to be happy. Yeah, so have I. You can still turn around and go back, you know. I've got to sort it. I can't live with what I did. Sometimes it's better to live with something than plain not living. Probably turn out all right, man. You have a very trusting nature. Not that trusting. You packing? No. Best I'm back in there, then. I said I had to come on my own. Meet them on the bridge. Nick Sharman. Laura. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I've um, never been better, in fact. Um, Judith. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's great. She's having a great time. L listen, um, Laura, um, it, it's a bit tricky at the moment. Um, um, no, it's not a woman, as a matter of fact. Um, I'll, I'll call you back later. Sure. F8. That's perfect. Right, now straight to the camera, big smile. Lovely. That's great. All right, now, chin up. Great, and again. Marvellous. All right, we'll try one standing up with the boa. Marvellous, that's it, yeah. Lovely. Perky as hell, go on. Chin up. Perfect. Time to go. 
What? What are you? Oh, big trouble. Well, I'll get changed. No, there's no time. Here, put this on. No, that's mine. Listen, Lichfield, we're borrowing it, OK? You... Oh, car keys. No way. There were spotters in that. We need to lie low somewhere close. Oh, I know just the place. Nick's a suspect in a murder, Dad. Better get you a drink, then. He didn't do it. Well, I don't want to know. You're Nick Shalman, the bank copper, aren't you? Once upon a time. I heard about you. You know how to pick them. This bit of bed's made up. Sorry, Nick, I put on the one o'clock plane. The allows me to at the airport. No, 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 she's fine. We can speak to her another time. Look, just give her a call. OK. Cheers. Is she all right? Yeah. You never told me about your dad. Northern Ireland, the car bomb. And your mum divorced him. Oh, just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean you can't be a bastard. He was always all right with me, though. Fathers and daughters. I suppose you know all about that. So what about your wife? Did you ever really love her? Laura? Yeah. More than anything in the world. Once. Just through there, these walls are like cardboard. Very quietly, then. Without practice. Come in. Come in. I made a couple of calls last night. Thought you might need one of these. Colt 45, no ID, and 50 rounds. And I've got you some wheels. On Dale outside. And I find on occasions like these, a bit of speed doesn't go amiss. Good gear, British Army issue. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Not your typical father, is he? Listen, Teddy. I've been hard on you, going on about Cedric, saying he was my favorite. Well, he turned out wrong, and you turned out right. And I just want you to know, when I go, you take over. Uncle, I think there's something you should know. You see, me and Manny's wife, Funny. Very funny. <laughs> I want this one. 
Hello, Cedric. Nick here's Nick. Where is he? What don't you know? Kiki. He's dead. It's been all over the news. Kiki. 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 For God's sake, answer. I don't ever watch the news. Look, I'm really sorry. There was nothing I could do. Any strangers? Not that I can see. Good. Park around the corner where I said, just in case. I want to come with you. No. It's not safe. I need 30 seconds. Walk with me. Where have you been? Staying at friends. And John killed himself. He didn't. I've watched it on video. He killed himself. I'm sorry. He didn't kill himself. And he did. No, he didn't. I did. Sorry. I might as well have. Nick, I was having an affair. What, and John found out? That bastard, that bastard, that's who he meant. What? Jesus Christ, you never ever thought he'd be murdered, did you? I did, I was sure he had been. He had to have been. Because if someone else didn't kill him, that only left... Me. And you only got me involved in all this just to convince yourself you weren't responsible. I know, I'll get Nick to investigate the murder, that way I definitely didn't kill him. Yeah. What? They've got Jane. <laughs> yeah. Round out the police or we'll kill her. Come to my old warehouse by Patrice Bridge and we'll give her back. Nick, let me help. Please, I'll do anything. No, I think you've done enough. Shit. No sodding car. A deal. They've got Jane. I thought these days were over. What did Manny say to you? He wanted a deal. You believe him? No. So, uh, we just walk in. You got any better ideas? They're probably just gonna kill us, of course. I owe it all to Teddy. If we had pulled back earlier like he wanted, maybe this would not have happened. You bastard. They made me ring you. What? Drop the guns. Don't move, either of you. How are you all doing? Teddy! Sorry, Uncle. Just business. You've been getting too old. Like Uncle Manny here. Past it. Out of touch. Out of date. Obsolete. Antiquated, antediluvian. Useless old bastards. You see, in our way, me and my friend Georgie here, we decided you just couldn't deal with the care in 90s. So we got together. A victory for race relations. I don't understand. 
They've been behind it all. They killed Cedric to set me up the bombs the lot. Well, we needed a war between our two uncles to make this work. This what? But this shootout, we all got wasted. Everyone turns up, everyone gets killed. Well, that's what the police will work out. Then the two grieving nephews will join forces and go on to great things. Like I said, a victory for race relations. Me boy just love to talk, you know. But your family. Family? <laughs> family counts for nothing with them. Scum. To rats, yes. To vultures, yes. But not to them. We have bred the race of reptiles. See? Past it. You're right. I am old. I am past it. I should have realized. We were waiting. Waiting until last night when I told you everything. You got it in one. Leave it! Don't! You're wrecking for forensics. Always so exact, Mr. Political Science. Bastards. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you. Drop the guns, both of you. She knows how to use that. Family. See? See? This is what family is. Shut up! You gave my Cedric money to leave me, and then you killed him. I never killed him. Oh, I see. It was you. It wasn't me. It wasn't me who pulled the trigger. He loved me, didn't he? Listen. He said he loved me, didn't he? Judith, it's me. How are you doing, sweetheart? 